profoundly deaf, but that doesn't stop me from trying new adventures. I fill my days with exciting activities and aim to live my life to the fullest. I love exploring the spectacular mountains of Taiwan and its surrounding seas. Join me as I discover more wonders in Taiwan. Follow me! environment and we are going to go and check it out. Have we arrived? We've arrived! Let's go! Oh, It's already got a very traditional vibe here. I'm also noticing some distinctive trains, like the coal trains here, and a lot of cows here as well. Wow! Look at this! Ah! <laughs> Let's go! Sure. I'm Alana. Alina. Uh -huh. Hi. What do we have here? We have to feed the cat. Uh -huh. so He's hungry, right? Yeah, very hungry. So you can see there are many, many cats here and yeah. all of them are very relaxed and they stay in this area for one main reason. Hi, hi, hi. We will take this one. This what is, is this? Like, uh, medicine for cats not big and no coin oh. here. Right. That's why so they're so well put, taken yeah. care of. Yeah. Okay, do I put this in? Yeah. All of it? Yeah. Wow. And how many cats is this going to be? Um, in this area, about um, 15, 15. 15 cats? Yeah, this Ooh. area. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Put it down, Nima. I'll put it down. <laughs> you can take that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cats here. So we've got a big bucket of food in here. We've mixed up different types of food sources and we're going to use this to feed all 15 cats. And in here is some medicine for them as well. And as you can see, they're being a lot more friendly because we have food for them. Yeah. She likes sleeping. Always there. They always. Hadi, hey, Mimi, Mimi, come. Come. No, no, no. Wow.
she's the queen in this area. She's the queen? Yeah. Wow. Love her. She looks like a queen. Yeah. So they have all these little houses for sleeping. It's really an environment, it's a community that was really built for the cats to thrive here. So you've got vets that are often coming to check on them. You've got medication that they're mm -hmm. receiving. You've got houses for them to sleep in and they've got food that they receive on a regular basis. So they've got a lot of care, a lot of love here. And it's easy to see why they stay in this area. there's a very precious community effort here to take care of and protect the cats. Now I'm wondering how did this place get to be a cat haven? Well I've got someone here to teach us a bit about the history. <laughs> Tisha Ta! Oh, good, good. I can recognize you. This is 60 years ago. This is called Hong Xian Si Jing Bei. 就它裡面的內容是講說,情侶不要去砍瓜樹木,讓很多樹木可以折音,所以這個是警告說不要不要砍瓜樹木。It was explaining to me that this is actually a very patriotic poem that was written by a general in 1867 and it's inspired by his experiences when he came to Hodong and he was amazed by the scenery and the environment and wrote a poem that reflected how he felt at the time he saw it. So, in 1895, after Taiwan's retrocession, the coal mining activity in this area stopped, despite the fact that there was still plenty of coal left. The reason was because imported coal became cheaper than mining here. Today, the entire mining area remains but as a museum. The miners' memorial building has been renovated from the miners' shower room. This exhibition provides a glimpse into a miner's daily life. Hanchinho 空氣, so I'm just reading about the diseases that result from working in coal mines for many years and what's scary about this is oftentimes they don't develop from they don't show symptoms for many many years so you can develop the disease very very slowly and even if you're no longer working in the mind the symptoms itself will still get worse and worse within the lungs and it leads to very unfortunate circumstances. <laughs> Mr. Cho is taking me to see the miners' dorm. 
I have to wonder how they slept here since the noise of the train is extremely loud. This represents where the ceiling was originally and as you can see it's not much taller than me and the floor had wooden planks all along it so actually there was very little height and not much flexible room because four or five people an entire family would be living in this space and this was the miners dormitory. <laughs> 那在這個礦根呢,又是頭洞這邊最大產量的礦根。這現在已經很多年沒有挖煤礦了,所以裡面都亂七八糟。This is also another really good chance to take a step back and have a sense of appreciation for the very, very rich history that occupies Hodong. Additionally, it's also another reminder to appreciate the fact that people no longer have to risk their lives today for the mining industry.在貓村我們試政府在這邊提供了一個每個禮拜一定會有一個獸醫上來做健康檢查跟一些治療哇,你看。Did you hear that? Yeah. The bad will try to I'm going to the moment. For that. Yeah. <laughs> She said she's very Yeah, it's very aggressive. <laughs> a very interesting situation happening right now. There's a very, very mean cat that this place was able to capture. They neutered her and now they are trying to give her vaccinations. She hissed at me really, really loudly for sitting next to her. And when they opened the cage to try to give her the vaccination, she escaped. So now she's climbing up there and we're trying to capture her while keeping everybody on our team safe because, as I said, she's a very mean cat. Oh, okay. Hey, can you go? So now we just vaccinated one of the cats, and he really, really didn't like it. And we're about to vaccinate the next one. take the time and the effort to vaccinate all 300 plus cats living in this area. So thank you for your hard work. I cannot do this. <laughs> 剛剛打那真的目的其實是一個定期的預防就是狂犬病的話我們房內規定的話就是每年都要打一次狂犬病疫苗那如果是那個就是貓的話有幾個比較重要的三合一的就是對貓咪來講的話都很危險有致命危險
You can be in camera, this is my new friend. Uh, you mentioned that they respond very differently. What is the behavior differences between house cat and stray cat? Feral cat and yeah. house cat are very different because yeah. they don't familiar with the human. Yes, for sure. They don't like to contact with human. They are yeah. very independent. Yeah. We try to vaccination or yep. try to give her some health care. It's very difficult. So we try to control yep. her. the way it's different. We use the net and we try to hardly control. A lot more safety measures yeah. involved. And make her more safety. She won't feel scary. Okay. After we vaccination and we neutered, we will try to release her later. Okay,why Okay. And you can see the great work that all this team members are doing, including T and R trap, neuter, and return, because so that shows that people really understand that these cats, they acknowledge that these cats are still stray cats. They, so what they do is they trap them, they bring them to a place like this, they neuter them, they give them the vaccination and address any other health concerns. They, however, at the end of it all, they bring it back to the exact same environment, hence the name return. So from this, you can see a very beautiful and very respectful relationship between the community of cats that live here as well as the community of people that live, work and visit here. There's a beautiful relationship between the two. The volunteer captured this cat. So that's where they caught him? Yeah, the, where they caught and where we return. T and R. Yeah, T and R. So you will take it back to the original place that you got it? Yeah. Return? Return. So when you take these feral cats, um, how long is the process to neuter them, to vaccinate them, to do everything? Yes. About seven days. Seven days. Say goodbye to him. Hi, ah, bye, bye. bye. You can see we just completed the R part of T and R trap, neuter, and return, and we've just returned it to the place that they actually trapped it originally. So you can see when we opened the door, he ran right out because he knew this environment, and he was quite happy to return to this environment. Can't see it now. Other than spending a wonderful day playing with, interacting with, and caring for cats, which is something I love to do, I was also able to make a, what I thought was a very beautiful observation. The community here really is centered around caring for and protecting the cats so much that it's become a very strong part of their culture. And what I think is pretty unique about Hodong is the interaction of different communities. For example, we see the veterinarians who are working here tirelessly to help protect the cat. They give them their vaccinations, they neuter them, they take care of them when they have health concerns, and so on. 
Additionally, we see the locals that really play a big role in the cat culture here because the locals interacted with the government to request for care for the cats that are here. Additionally, they're very friendly to the cats. They're very supportive of the culture of cats here and they continue to feed them and welcome them into their homes on a daily basis. On top of that, we also see tourists playing a role in the cat culture here. All the tourists that come here learn about TNR, trap, neuter, and return. They also learn about respecting the environment of cats. They learn about what it takes to maintain and care for this community of cats. So I think this quality is very unique because you see really three different communities coming together as one united community to preserve and care for these cats here. And that's not something I see in too many other places.